Well, hello there. It's that time again. It's time for Halloween. Ooh, spooky wooky. <laughs> Actually, it's time for another edition of the blog that truly blazes and it happens to be very close to Halloween here on October 28th of 2011. I'm going to go over our three card reading, which means I'll go over the energies that we're just coming out of, what we're coming into now, and what lies ahead of us towards the end of the week. So it's going to be pretty interesting. Stick around and check it out. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now, this card is a four of discs attributed to Sun and Capricorn, entitled Power, is that whole idea of having solid finances underneath our feet, of manifesting things that we need to manifest, and applying ourselves very seriously to our financial goals. So you may have found that this week was pretty smooth. I, I thought it was. I saw a lot of progress uh, financially and in other areas of my life. Uh, there was a lot of focus which also fitted in with one of the other cards, Six of Swords that came up last week. A lot of good things, a lot of good things. And these good things are actually, they're, they're going to continue. It's going to be interesting. Okay, the next card is a Four of Wands, another four. Fours are stability, okay? Fours are power, and the Wands are fire. Now, this is attributed to Venus and Aries. It's kind of coming around full circle. It's a title completion. So it's the ending of one phase of our lives and the starting of another. So you don't have to worry about being stagnant. There'll be plenty of things happening to keep you stimulated. As a matter of fact, November 2nd, which is coming up here pretty quick, we're going to have uh, not Venus and Aries, but Venus and Sagittarius and Mercury going into Sagittarius as well. So that's going to, I think that's going to spark things up a bit and that may be part of what this is pointing to, okay? Because definitely it's bringing the energies up to another level. And that's going to be interesting. I think you're going to find yourself being very creative. I think you're also going to feel like you want to take things up a notch or so. It's just going to be kind of an uplifting energy. It's not a bad thing at all. But see, here's the thing now, towards the end of the week, we want to be careful about overextending ourselves and getting too many irons in the fire. The Ten of Wands is here. Now, the Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius, is called depression. And basically, it's that whole idea of biting off more than we can chew. Saturn in Sagittarius means restriction. That desire to explore is restricted. But the restriction is what we put upon ourselves. Because nobody, nobody can make us unfree except we, ourselves. So it's not what's happening in our lives, it's how we view it. So just be on guard against taking on more though than what you're comfortable doing. And if you find there's a lot happening because you do get involved in a bunch of stuff, just go with the flow of it. You know, the antidote to too much fire, which is kind of like what this is, the antidote to too much fire is water. Water is the cups or the uh, major arcana cards that are attributed to water signs, okay, like the chariot cancer or Scorpio death card. Reflecting upon the energies to say the ace of, wine, ace of cups might be helpful, all right? Something that's going to cool us, calm us down, even four of cups if you need a meditation symbol or you want to make a talisman like I've taught in one of my other videos. This might not be a bad idea. But the main thing is really, it's just kind of like going with the flow. The water is going to go overcome the fire. Though the fire is very forceful, water is a hard element. Okay. Listen, I love you. I appreciate you. I hope whatever you do, you have a happy, safe Halloween wherever you go. And until I meet you again next week, many, many, many blessings. <laughs>